Hi, my name is Jan. I'm in the CS Card team. I'd like to present you advanced product import in CS Card. We released this feature in CS Card and MultiVendor 4A1. Let me tell you why it's so cool. Product import in CS Card allows the store manager to quickly add new products to the catalog and update the catalog. To do it, a manager gets a file with products from the supplier and uploads it to CS Card. Then CS Card scans the file and updates the catalog. This is the perfect case. But in real life, things often get more complicated. Different suppliers send data in various forms. For example, the column names in the supplier file might be different from what CSCAR requires. Or the file format can be XML and not commonly used CSV. So, if you import the supplier file as is, you might have problems with the imported products. And you'll have to spend a lot of time to fix those errors manually. The new advanced product, Import, helps you avoid this problem. It simplifies the import process and reduces time spent on this procedure. Let's take a look at its advantages and learn how to perform an advanced product import. Product import in CS Card is based on presets. You need to make a preset for every supplier you work with. By making a preset, you explain to CS Card how to work with CSV or XML files from a particular supplier. Once you create a preset, you can then import files from that supplier quickly and smoothly. To create a preset, go to Administration, Import Data, Products. Create a new preset and upload the supplier's file in CSV or XML format. If you're using an XML file, you need to set an XML target node in a separate field on the preset configuration page. This way, CSCAR will be able to distinguish individual products in XML file. For example, the path you see on the screen is the right XML target node for this XML file. It contains information about a single product. Then name the preset so that you can easily find it among other presets. Click Create. Now you have a command to schedule the import on your server via command line. You can add it to cron or any other server job scheduler to start the import according to the schedule without any manual work. You only need to replace the admin panel path with yours. Switch to the Fields Mapping tab. This is the main tab of the preset. Here you can show CS Card how to handle the supplier's file. Use the drop-downs to match the columns or XML elements with the right product properties in CS Card. Check the example of the imported value section to make sure you matched it right. Although the column can now have any name, its content has to meet CS Card requirements. The link to these requirements is in the description on YouTube. I'd also like to mention that the product features import has become more convenient as well. Previously, you had to make a complicated description in a CSV file to import product features. Now though, you only need to specify a field for a particular product feature on the Fields Mapping tab. You can still import product features using the old method though, if you prefer. Ok, so you've matched the supplier's file columns with CS Card product properties. Click Save. Now you don't need to rename the fields in a supplier file in Excel or LibreCalc every time. Cool, right? Previously, you could only import one detailed image together with a product. But products can have multiple images. You had to use a separate CSV file to import additional images. And you had to form that file with different rules as well. Super inconvenient. In the new import, you can upload all the images for a product at once. To do this, use the new property in CS Card called Advanced Import Images. You can set it on the Fields Mapping tab for the columns containing image file names. Ok, so let me show you how to import product images. First, upload the images to your store server or any third-party file hosting. Here, I'll upload them to the store server via CS Card's built-in file editor. You can find it in Administration Files. You can also use an FTP client. Check the docs to learn how to upload images via FTP. In the file editor, select Private Files and go to the Xeem Backup Images folder. If this folder doesn't exist, Create it. Upload images to this folder. You can do it by drag and drop. Done. Now product images are stored in the Xeem Backup Images folder on your server and you can link them to the imported file. I uploaded images to the Xeem Backup Images folder so as not to specify full paths to images in the CSV or XML file. An import preset has a setting called Images Directory if images are stored in that directory, you only need to specify the image file names in the imported file and CS Card will find them. If you uploaded images on a third-party hosting, 
you would need to specify full URLs. It's possible that your supplier sent you files with image URLs and you could see the images via those URLs. If this is the case, you don't even need to upload images anywhere. Just start the import right away. Now let's conduct the import. File structures can differ from supplier to supplier. For example, all the images might be specified in a single column or XML element, or each image might be specified in a separate column or element. The new import covers both these cases. Let's take the case where each product image is specified in a separate column of a CSV file. The file contains a lot of columns named image, for example. Just match each of these columns with the advanced import images property, save the preset and execute the import. All the images will be imported. Another case could be where there is only one column called images and it has all the product images specified and separated by a delimiter. No problem. Just match this column with the advanced import images property. But this time you also need to open the file tab of the preset and make sure that the image delimiter here is the same that is used to separate images in the imported file. In the docs we describe each step to import images and different options for uploading image files and linking them with the imported file. Read it thoroughly and you should have no issues. Modifiers are functions that change imported values during import without you being involved in the process. To apply a modifier, enter it to the field right by the desired product property in the modifier section. This way, this property's value will be changed in the imported file according to the rules of the modifier. This means you won't need to change values manually. To learn all the available modifiers and what they do, click the modifier list button. Here is an example of using a modifier. A supplier sent you the file with their prices. But you need to sell products at a higher price, let's say 10% more expensive. In the price column, enter the corresponding modifier and click save. In the example of the imported value section, you can see the result of applying the modifier right away. We also mention other use cases for modifiers in the docs, so I recommend checking those out. You can learn what to do if a supplier doesn't specify the product quantity in the file and just writes whether the product is in stock or out of stock. Now let's move to the final part of this video lesson. I'll tell you about additional settings that make the import more flexible. Before you start to import, you may want to make some tweaks. Open the settings tab. Tick this checkbox to only import 5 products from the supplier file. Why only 5? Simply to make sure that the preset is configured right and the import goes well. I mean, deleting or correcting 5 products is faster than 5000, right? Choose the import strategy. You can choose to import new products and update the existing ones, only update the existing products without adding new, or only add new without updating existing products. By default, all products are imported and updated. In the docs, you can find out about cases that require a different import strategy. Tick this checkbox to make the product quantity equal to zero for all the products that don't have a quantity in the imported file. This way, only products that have a quantity specified in the imported file will be displayed as in stock after the import. There are also two additional settings that are hidden by default. To display them, click Additional settings. If you enable this setting, then importing downloadable products will delete their existing files. If you leave the box unticked, new downloadables will be imported alongside the existing ones. The second additional setting defines a method of importing additional product images. Tick the checkbox to replace the existing images with new. Leave it unticked to import images alongside the existing ones. Well, now you've matched the fields, prepared images for import, set modifiers and made final tweaks. Press the import button. If you configured everything right, the import should go smoothly and you'll have a ready preset for further imports from this supplier. To see the list of the added and updated products, go to Products, Products, and on the right side of the page find a saved search called Recently Updated. Click it to view all the added and updated products from the recent import. Alright, I hope this video lesson will help you import products to your CS card store easily. Until next time, bye!